everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and as you can see by the title, today I wanted to share a bunch of stuff that I miss about Texas. Now don't get me wrong, I love living here, I love the healthy and active lifestyle that people live here, I love that you can get healthy food anywhere and that it's not like, oh my god, you're eating greens, that's so gross, like that's just normal here. So there's so many things that I love about LA, but there are a few things that I do miss about Texas and I wish California had them, so let me just dive into today's video. The first thing, which is actually quite hysterical, is Californians' ideas of what barbecue is. Oh my lord. One time, um, our friend had invited us to his friend's barbecue, and we went to this guy's house, <laughs> and in his backyard, he had a barbecue pit, like the little bitty ones, and it was like this far off the ground, <laughs> and he had little weenies on it. I was like... I really, I thought they were kidding. Like, I literally thought it was a joke, but that's California barbecue. Like, you have, like, you know, the store-bought little weenies, not even, like, good sausage or anything like that. And on a little, little tiny grill, there wasn't enough food for everyone, which is so weird because, you know, in Texas, if someone barbecues, there's, like, food for the next week from that barbecue. Um, my, my fiancé bought a smoker for our house, so he like makes stuff now for us. But it was just really funny like looking back that that was barbecue. Also, barbecue sauce in California is disgusting. It is like really, really obscenely sweet or really salty and funky tasting. Like it isn't like good barbecue sauce. I don't even know what's in it. It's just, it's always something like, like they're trying to be creative and it's, it's gone too far. And also no one knows what marbled is. Like, you know, if you get brisket, I get marbled brisket. Everyone's like, what's marbled? Speaking of things that no one knows what they are in California, no one knows what a dressed beer is. They call it a Mexican style beer. If you order a dressed beer at a bar, they look at you like you're crazy and you're like, salt? And then they hand you a salt shaker and a full lime and you're like, okay, like, I don't understand. So that's really strange. Like how do they not know what a dressed beer is? That's the weirdest thing ever. I thought that was a common thing. This will come as no shock to Texans, but I miss manners so much. Like I held the door open for this girl who's actually like one of my favorite influencers ever. Um, I held the door open for her at the gym yesterday. She didn't even say thank you. She just kind of looked at me and I was like, you're welcome. And like guys too. Guys will not hold the door open for you at all. They'll, they'll let it fall on you. They're not afraid to hit women here. There's people from all over the world and you know in certain cultures, we won't get too political here. It's okay to hit women. So it's, you know, it's just a thing. And there's a lot of different people here. So there's just like not good manners anywhere basically. And it's very, very frustrating. And I'm not afraid to make commentary about it. Is that like the most classy thing of me to do? No, but I mean, if you're gonna be rude, I'm gonna let you know you're being rude. I'm sorry, don't be rude. I'm trying to be nice. You be nice back. Isn't that common sense? The next thing that I miss so dearly about Texas is ceiling fans. California, why are there no ceiling fans? I don't understand. I love ceiling fans. Everyone here does not have a ceiling fan. Any apartment I've ever been in, any house I've ever been in. I don't know if that's like an earthquake thing, which is my only guess. I don't understand. Um, our house has no ceiling fans. A lot of houses and apartments don't have like lights. That's why we picked this house, <laughs> like one of the main reasons. There's probably like 40 lights all above me right now, like the little, uh, I don't know what they're called, but there's a bunch of lights in here. And that is a rare thing, like in any apartment we've lived in here, you have to have a lamp. So like it's never bright in your bedroom, in the living room. The kitchens usually have lights, but that's it. Why? Why are there no lights and ceiling fans? I don't get it. Do you not like the light here, California? I don't, I don't. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. The next thing I miss is no crackheads being at gas stations. At almost any gas station you go to in Los Angeles, there will be a crackhead. Now, I am no drug extraordinaire. I assume they're on crack. I don't really know. They could be on like bath salts or rocks or who knows at this point. But they are always there and they're freaking out and my, speaking of freaking out, my dogs are running laps and I'm so sorry if you could see them. I'm, whew, I hope you're tired, boy, because you're coming in and getting a nap in a minute. 
Um, but yeah, there's crackheads at every single gas station and they're scary. Like, I don't care if you're on drugs or whatever. Drugs are really popular in this city. If you're on drugs, fine, go over there, but like, don't try to attack me. I'm just trying to get gas and, you know, maybe a bottle of water. So I would appreciate if there weren't crackheads anymore because it just sucks. And it always smells like pee everywhere you go. If you're in a parking garage, if you're at the gas station, it will smell like pee. And I classify it as homeless person pee because it smells like eggs, like rotten eggs, and it smells like a very dehydrated human. Now don't get me wrong, if you've seen my videos before, you know I love to help the homeless people, but I enjoy helping people who need help, not people who don't want to help themselves and want to be st staying in that life. If you want to do that, that's fine. Go over there, go pee in a bush or somewhere else. I know that might sound harsh. I'm only here to help people who want to help themselves. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I appreciate not being attacked at gas stations in Texas because I don't think I ever saw crackheads at gas stations in Texas. And, yeah. I never. I try not to go to gas stations by myself either here because it's very frightening for a small human. This has its pros and cons. So, in Texas, you know, there's the speed limits that are like 80 miles an hour at this point. I don't even remember. But you could go really, really fast. I think driving's quite enjoyable in Texas, like going on a road trip or just driving in general because there's not a ton of traffic. Here, you go as fast as you can on the highway because you probably can't go over 40 because there's always traffic, which sucks because I like to drive fast and I like relaxing car rides and there's no such thing as a non-stressful car ride here. Um, but you rarely get pulled over. Like, you'll never see people getting pulled over because you can't go that fast. So, that kind of sucks. But I definitely miss, like, those relaxing drives because it's just so stressful for me. I try not to drive on the highway at all anymore, which is weird to say. Like, I never thought I'd be that person that's like, oh, I don't like to drive on the highway. Like, I used to drive everywhere. But um, nowadays, I don't really drive um, unless it's around my area because it's just so much, so consuming in my soul. The next thing I miss about Texas is bomb Mexican food. For real. California Mexicans, I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Like, first off, I'm half Mexican, so I can say whatever I want because, you know, they're my people. Um, I do not appreciate California Mexican food. First off, their refried beans is like soup. It is so soupy. Then they put cheese on top, which sounds like a good idea in theory, but it's disgusting. Then they put a chip on top all the time. Like, why are you putting a chip so that by the time you get home, it's a soggy chip in a soup-like textured refried, refried bean? The rice, sometimes it has peas in it. Why does it have peas in it? Isn't that what, like, Asian food has in it? Asian, like, if you get fried rice, it has peas and, like, other stuff. Why does Mexican rice here have peas in it? Because Mexican rice in Texas doesn't have peas in it. And then, also, their fajitas taste like MSG here. Like, just straight up. MSG, loads of MSG, and it has like a weird non-Mexican flavor. And then people here like to have Baja Mexican. I don't even think that's what it's called, but that's just what we call it. Baja Mexican is like even worse than Tex-Mex. And I know I'm gonna hurt a lot of feelings with that because a lot of people like Tex-Mex, but I'm here to tell you I think it's disgusting. I think it is so bad. Like give me a taqueria number 520 and just give me all the sloppy, mushy looking stuff, like fajitas with that mushy refried beans and I'll mix my rice in with it. Like I like all that. And homemade flour tortillas, those don't exist either. I've had people try to tell me, and I've gone to the little shack, like Mexican restaurants here too. No, 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 they are disgusting. They, they never get it right. They don't even know what carne asada is. Hello, like, I do not know what that is. How? I don't understand. And like you order certain things there and they don't know. They, they don't know what anything is. I'm like, how do you call this Mexican food? This is MSG on meat. And then, you know, I just, I just don't get it. And they, they are really into corn tortillas and I know people like, like corn and flour. I am personally am a flour type of a girl. I am gluten free, I've been gluten free for years, but I will sacrifice my soul for a one time homemade uh, flour tortilla per year. And I can't do that here because it's not very good. Uh, yeah, so it's really disappointing because you can go anywhere in Texas, go to like any Mexican restaurant that's like taqueria or something like that or something in Spanish, you know, I don't know what I mean. And it is delicious and here that just doesn't happen.
Like, I literally refuse to eat Mexican food here because it's so bad. It's really sad. <laughs> I miss it so much. Another thing that I miss about Texas is state pride. I swear, like, that has to be on the number one list of things that I've taken for granted in my life, is state pride, people who are really, you know, in Texas, it's life or death. You are Team Texas for real. And California people don't even want to say they're from California. But it's kind of funny because a lot of times in California, they'll be like, where are you from? Because no one's from here. And I'll say Texas and they're like, oh my gosh, I love people from Texas. I'm like, well, thank you. So our reputation is wonderful in California for the most part. I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about, but we won't go there today. Um, but yeah, I miss state pride so much. I wish people who like just care about just, you know, making the city better. And that's probably why they have street cleaning here. Did you know, do y'all know what street cleaning is? It's whenever you can't park on the street. They don't have it in my neighborhood because I live like so far out of town, but like all of my old apartments had it. And you can't park on the street because like a street cleaning truck thing has to come by and pick up all the crap. Because people here do not give two flying you know what's about taking care of their town and city. And I just think that's rude. That's just so rude. No one flies flags like you'll rarely see the California flag unless you're at like the touristy areas where it's like California Republic, blah, blah, blah. Like no one does that. And you know, in Texas, you'll probably see a Texas flag on every corner, which I truly appreciate. You don't even see American flags here. How depressing is that? Like, ugh, that's just so rude. Um, Cause you'll see American flags. Like I, like you probably won't notice until now that I said it, if you're watching this video, like, Go in your town that you live in, if you live in Texas, and look at all the flags, and then you'll be like, wow, we do have a lot of flags. There's no flags here. It's, it's so sad. I love America and Texas, and I love California too, but you know, there's no state pride here, so that sucks. Next thing, I know some people in Texas might already have this issue with people. I personally never had this issue in Texas. I only have it in California. Friends that don't bail. In California, I don't know why, people like to make plans and bail non-stop. I have one friend who's one of my closest friends and homegirl likes to bail on me. I haven't seen her in two months because she's bailed on me at least 12 times on everything. Like it is a very common thing. I think it's more common with girls than guys depending on like who the guy is. Um, but typically most girls bail on everything. Like girlfriends, I have two girlfriends in this whole city that I would consider like close friends. Only two, because everyone else bails all the time. And it's not like I'm a bad person. It's not like I'm mean. They do it to everyone. I don't know why. It's a certain part of the country, to be honest. Like I've tried to like figure this out. And people who come from a very particular area of the country, in my opinion, are the ones that do this. Maybe it's common there. I don't know. But I think it is so disrespectful because like I, and plan it like I plan my day. I'm planning my day around us hanging out. So if like I'm pushing different plans around and you bail and say let's move it to tomorrow, well I can't move it to tomorrow because I moved my plans for you already. And so many people don't take account that like other people have arranged their schedule to hang out because that's what I do. That's what my fiance does. And then if you bail, that's just so rude. Like I. Like, I don't know, it's just being considerate of other people. And that's something that Californians aren't very good at doing. Let me just say, no one here is very considerate of other people. They are all, yeah, it just, that thing, ugh, I'm not even gonna get in to that right now because nothing makes me more frustrated than the lack of consideration for people on earth. Like, ugh, it just grinds my gears. Anyway, thank you for watching this whole video of me just letting it out, you know, because I just get real, real frustrated with people here with some of the dumb stuff they do, like freaking put MSG all over their Mexican food. That's just not nice. Anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. It's kind of random. It's just an idea I've had to make a video for for a while. So if you have any questions about anything or any comments, please be sure to drop them down below and give this video a thumbs up if you're from Texas and you enjoy me rambling about things that I miss about Texas because I kind of miss certain a lot of things about Texas. Anyway guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well if you want to stay tuned for other fun videos. I will see y'all next time. Bye!